So, how do you know Pastor Brian? Pastor Brian, two years ago, uh, he was coming here to the home church for a revival that was going on. And everybody was like, you have to go see this guy. You have to go see this guy. I said, he had an amazing story. And uh, I said, well, okay. And, you know, they're like, his story, it blows your mind. Well, at the time, I was fighting in a, a bad alcohol addiction. And uh, I'll never forget, I walked in here that night. And uh, I seen Pastor Brian, and I went back and sat down. And at the end of the night, he had been talking. He said, the good Lord had brought me here for a reason. And he said, I wasn't sure what the reason was to the night. And he told me when I walked up front, he said, you're the reason I'm here. He said, you have an addiction, don't you? And I said, yes, sir, I do. He said, I could see it in your eyes when you walked in that door that you was the reason that I was brought up here. And after that, I had probably a couple weeks that I struggled on and off with alcohol. But I'm proud to say now because of this man and his testimony Jesus. and Jesus, I'm a year and six months with no addiction. Yes. And um, every time he comes around, I tell everybody, I said, y'all got, got to go hear this man. I said, his story is amazing. And I said, he really proved to me that if Jesus can change somebody and take them from the past that he said he had, then there's no doubt we do have an awesome God and he can fix anybody out here. Not saying that in a bad way. Yeah. You know, but not only did he break down your strongholds, yeah. But what's what's up with this motorcycle? So since we uh talked last a couple years ago, you didn't have this, what's up with the motorcycle? So I made up my mind when I quit my addiction. I sat down one day and I realized how much money I was spending in alcohol. And how many things that I had wasted and went without. Right. So I decided, you know, I'm going to save my money and see if I can save up enough money to get me something I've always wanted. So my addiction went from alcohol to a bike addiction. <laughs> but if you ever realized how much money that you spend in an addiction... Mm -hmm. And you sit back and look at it, it would blow your mind to go, wow, I spent that money so many years and how many things I could have. Yeah. And this was just the start, you know. I have, you know, a couple other things, you know. Um, but it's a, I stayed broke when I had an addiction. Yeah. And I didn't care, you know. Yeah. I went to work. I'd work 50 hours a week. People say, you got an alcohol problem? No, I got no problem. I get up and go to work. I do my job. Yeah. But then I realized how much it was affecting my work, affecting my home life. Yeah. And thanks to you and your story and that night, it just totally turned my life around. I, you know, just I realized how powerful Jesus really is. Yeah. And, you know, for years I was like, Jesus, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Yeah. And the whole time, he had a plan for me. Yeah. And every time I thought during my addiction I was alone, I wasn't. He was there with me. Yeah. And it just took me a lot of time and listening to someone like you that's been there and done it and knows how it feels to go, I can do this. Yeah, so now it's your turn. Right? Yes, sir. Now, you can use this beautiful machine that the Lord blessed you with yeah. to go out and uh, and uh, have the opportunity when people are looking at your bike, right? Like, yeah. Whoa. It's like, let me tell you the story about this yeah. bike. Yeah. Let me tell you about Jesus. He's the one that gave me this bike, right? Yeah. And, uh, man, he takes us He takes us out of what we're in, and he dusts us off and puts us back in the stuff to use, use us. Yeah. So now it's your turn to well, give people testimony. There's another reason that people are going to want to ride this bike. Because once I tell him that Brian Cole took his bike down the road, and I got video of it, and they're going to be like, I got to touch it. And no, I'm like, whatever. no, no, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, well, hey, brother, man, that's how brother, I, I can't, you know, this is the kind of stuff that blesses my heart because sometimes, you know, you're on the road for a long time, and you just don't feel like anybody's getting the message, and yeah. nobody's accepting the gospel message, and I'm trying to talk a lot because the bikes are going. 
yeah. uh, and, and no one's hearing what you're saying. And but we, we forget sometimes. I think I think John can attest to this that we think it's about us, and I'm not doing a good job of presenting the message. And it isn't about me yeah. presenting that message. About the Holy Spirit did. Yeah. And the gospel, the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ can do. I mean, that's bro. that's what transforms lives, man. And you got that power now. Yes, sir. You, know, you can go out there and you can tell people. And I blame so I thank you for, for blessing me with your story and, and letting me ride this motorcycle. And, and yeah. uh, man, I, I love being back down here. And I've already heard a couple of stories already of people who were transformed by the power of the gospel while we were down here last time, which is cool because I know um, Pastor G, you know, yeah, some people, you know, gave good feedback and stuff. And it's like, well, that's good, but how many got baptized? You know, how many yeah. gave their life to the Lord? I don't hear that stuff. Yeah. So coming back down two years later and hearing this stuff. I got baptized awesome. right after that. Amen. Didn't you say that? Amen. I did get baptized All on right. top of it. So huh. that's uh, that's a brother's story. That's his God story. Yes, sir.